Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're back to the old lineup. They're all behind me right there. How you guys doing? Hi, uh-huh, guys. I'm behind Sorg. Straight from the the sexy South Side is the 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 DJ Lunchbox. How are you? What's up, hot dog? It is DJ Lunchbox. I am coming to you from the South Side, proving once again that Sorg is a good and honest man. What? How was that? Because um, you didn't lie about where you was coming. Everything from. you just said was true. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. Okay. Excellent. You is that a trash can beside you? You did not tell a lie. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, why are is you... that milk on your nightstand? Apple juice. Okay. Apple, <laughs> Apple juice. juice. Is, there, is there any other questions about my surroundings? In, in, in that case, them. that's scary. Did you make your bed? Fuck. Are you nuts? <laughs> Bobby, I, mean, I don't time. understand why maybe anyone makes their mud, bed. Maybe. You're just going to have to unmake it later. And coming from the Bronx, where nobody makes their own bed, is uh, rather fuzzy. I don't know what's going on with the connection. Mr. Bobby Mad F. Mike Town wants in the hangout. has returned. <laughs> What? I'm actually coming from Hogwarts. No, you're not. Um, Shut up, bitch. I, no, I, I am John. John. After half the castle was torn down, they can finally get Wi-Fi. <laughs> so go figure. <laughs> they don't. They don't have drywall in Ho- Hogwarts, sir. Maybe your place doesn't. My room of requirement does. No, it doesn't. I required drywall. It gave me drywall. You're okay. making shit up now. <laughs> All right, and from a trailer in Corpus Christi, Texas. Trailer? Is that, well, I'm not a fucking trailer. No, no that's what? a fan. I I this is a, in, in that case, this is a nice fucking trailer. You said you, said you, were, you knew all about Trailer Park, Texas. Howdy, I partner. I live in cousin buttfuck country. Yeehaw. I don't even know you what know, that means. Time. Time. As long as you've Butt been on the show, you have never country. wore a, a native cowboy hat uh, on the show. I know. Yeah. What is up with that? There's I don't think he lives in Texas. Oh, look at, look at me. I'm Texas. I wear you're a cowboy wearing hat. A Chicago... I ride horses. I beat women. Woo-hoo. <laughs> okay, now I believe it. Whoa. But you're wearing a Chicago Cubs t-shirt. Yes, because I'm in support of the greatest WWE champion of all time. But we'll get to that later. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, wow. whoa! Bringing out the sass this week. Anyhow, I am wow. sassy. I'm sassy Cassie. Moving whoa, on. Whoa, and uh, oh, he's also, a midget stripper. Also sassy <laughs> is Chachi. Hi guys. No, I'm not Chachi this week. I'm changing my name. You're changing your name? Yes, Alfred. Oh, I forgot we all changed yes. our names. Alfred Billison. What? Oh. Yes. So, uh, can we switch to camera three? Okay, you want to talk to the people. I, I want see. to talk to the okay, people. T- tell them my camera Yes. Three. Um, so this week, and from here on in, my name is now Alfred Billison. Not Al, not Fred, Alfred Billison. You have to say it all. all Alfred of it. Billison. Bil- Billison. Yes. Alfred. I'm calling you Al. No, fucker. You can't call me Al. My name is Alfred just Billison. Did, Al. My name is Alfred Billison. You okay. know, if you keep answering to Al, then people are just going to call you Al. I know. Um, can we we can <laughs> go off camera three now. Okay. All right. Thanks. Sorry, did, and, and wait, ladies and gentlemen, our did, illustrious wait, 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 host, the Sorgatron. Hold on. Did, hold on oh, that's me. I'm having. having a, you... Shut up! Did, I'm having a great time, guys. Thanks for thanks for giving me time. Hi, on the Sorgatron. Mic here. Um, <laughs> having a great, great, great week. Great week here on the wrestling. Sorry, Mayhem. I was I'm distracted. Glad, you, <laughs> glad you guys can have me. Um, Your new name is Michael Michelson. Mickelson. We'll go with Mickelson. Mickelson. It sounds better. Michael <laughs> Michael Mickelson. Wait, I don't know what to think about this. Yeah, well, you don't have a choice. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Mitch. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, anyways, you join we, us here. It's a wrestling can... mayhem show. Uh, we do this every week here. Live.sorgatronmedia.com at about 8, 830-ish Eastern Time. Can I make a correction? Do, do you want to make a correction, yes. sir? We don't do this every week. We do a variation <laughs> of this, this every week. We do we do an interpretation yes. of this sort of show. Yes. Week in and week yes. out. And but it's is, never the same it's thing. It's never the same thing. No. There are no repeats no, on this channel. No, there's not at all. Never. Never. No. So, um, um, yeah. 
So uh, you think it would be kind of funny if we did the exact same show weekend and weekend. I know. You know, or if I just took an old episode and just kept and just renumbered it. it. Yeah. And then put it <laughs> up and be like, let's see if anybody notices. Do we get emails? Yeah. The fuck out of listeners. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's yeah. happening yeah. here? Talking like yeah. about Lita. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Oops, w- no, it, it'll just Lita? be WS twenty five remix. Lita's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sword! Can we auto tune an entire episode? No, oh, God. yes, no. please, yes, oh. yes, no, yes, no. yes. <laughs> Yes, that is the greatest that? idea I've wait, ever wait, wait. heard. From the chat room on this line, that Bobby FJ Town says, Russell fan and Mad Mike should be Ryan Fitzpatrick and Patrick Fitzryan. I like it. Okay. I call nice. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Nice. I'm sure you do. Anyways, guys, you can find us at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Like a normal name. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can follow us on Twitter. Stock us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. AJ's not here this week. Why is he in the show notes? I don't know. What is up with that? If, nice, uh, nice catch, that though, happens. Mr. There Mickelson. Well, shut up. It's because we miss um, it. Also, you can give us a, drop us a line at good time. Good time. So at show dot Good times. <laughs> Or uh, 412-206-WMS0. That's nice. Keep it on the 30 seconds. Keep it tight. Keep it to the point. Ask questions. Make fun of Russell Fan. And and what? Follow up with that. That would be a good topic. Also, you can find us at Blip.TV, Mediafly, YouTube, and the iTunes. And leave comments and stuff for us, guys. Let us know how we're doing. Because we owns the internet. Tell your friends. Tell all your friends. Yes. Tell them all. And you can also listen uh, to Mister Mickelson. You can also check out the Wrestling Mayhem God Show Gold app on your iPhone device uh, or your iPad. It's also compatible for, but not universal just yet. And also on the Android. Teller ninety nine gets you uh, access to pre-show, mid-show, post-show stuff. Uh, that we do not release anywhere else at this point. Um, and also quick access to the show. AJ listens to the show on the app. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um, oh, thanks to you, Mr. Mickelson. Thank you. <laughs> the hell? Uh, thanks to our good friends over at Wizard Media. Pittsburgh-based company, by the way. Um, so uh, it's, let's do what we do every week, guys. You want to talk about wrestling? Try to take over the world. Nice. Yeah. yeah well, where are we gonna going to find, find rubber so pants our size? I know. That's what we need the people to email us. Right. All right. No, we got some emails, guys. And let's start off, first off, with uh, the voice of the Riz, Mr. Chachi says. Who has a doozy this week? Does it's, he? It's entertaining. Okay. <laughs> it's a doozy. I, I busted up laughing during the Awesome Cast show okay. because it was funny. Yes, you did. <laughs> Thanks for interrupting that show. With that song. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I, it was it was hilarious. So, WMS. Yeah. I have to start it off like that because that's what it says. CM Punk, yay. Now that we got that of, out of our systems, two weeks ago I sent an email to Good Humor, which is now called Popsicle for some reason. What? <laughs> this it's true. No I've got a in, lot of emails from back from those guys. Anymore. I just full of sadness and rage. Will you shut up? Okay, yes. This email concerned their company stopping production of the WWE ice cream bar CM Punk mentioned on Monday Night Raw the previous night. Today... I received an email from a representative of Good Humor slash Popsicle. And I quote, Hello. Thank you for writing us regarding Popsicle WWE Ice Cream Bar. While we at Good Humor Ice Cream enjoy a good figure four leg lock and are sure glad you enjoyed the product. <laughs> Didn't we read this last week? This is... No. No, no, we, no. Got, there, we got different emails from Good Humor last yes. week. This okay. is... This is an actual response to the email. We don't have plans to make a superstar ice cream bar at this time. Sincerely, your friends at Popsicle. What? To be fair, that is a form letter because I got the exact same thing. If I may make a comment to my new friends at Popsicles, at Popsicle, any objections? Thought so. Dear friends at Popsicle, (laughs) stop making some perverted sexual position out of the figure four leg lock. Shut your dirty whore mouth, get in the kitchen, and make me some motherfucking ice cream. (laughs) Preferably WWE ice cream bars. We have a fetus that doesn't know the joy of how the WWE (laughs) ice cream bars tasted, and you're going to say that there are no plans to make them? Hope you're happy with yourself. Shove a popsicle up your ass, popsicle. Your friends at the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Or 
Maybe just me, Riz. It's true. I've never tasted it. I think we can officially back up that email. Yeah. Okay. Until next makes time. Me, makes me sad. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> I've never tasted it. Your sorrow makes me laugh. Uh. Until next time. I'm not your friend, buddy. Riz. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wait, when are we getting pal. to the funny Rizmail? And moving on to the next email. I got this one from Piac. Oh, 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 gone for two weeks. My shit's already uh, stolen. That's oh. right. To the WMS station. <laughs> Who's Mad Mike? Uh, I can't believe I. Damn heard. you, Mike Mickelson. Michael Mickelson. Get it right. No, I say Mike. Well, that's because you're that's a douchebag. Wow. Moving on. All right, I can't believe why oh. a night in Chicago had happened at what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is why I read, read it. it and I'm right. happy every week. In the first match, Daniel Bryan got the blue briefcase for the shot at the WH Championship. Oh. Really? WH? Really? How? How can? How come a guy under two hundred pounds have a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship like Rey Mysterio did? What about Airborne? Uh, do you uh, think that? He would have a title shot. For now, it's no, because El Alberto Del Nono got the red briefcase and tried to cash in the shot at the main event, but I'll explain later. Okay. <laughs> we saw two big men wrestle when it was over. Sexual chocolate Mark Henry. <laughs> I would love if he just went back to that randomly. Uh, one and re-injured Big Show's leg with a chair. I, however, couldn't watch the horror, but Christian got the Montreal spit uh, taked in the face of the Viper. Then in uh, Christian... What, 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 what? Whoa. I, I skipped skip the line. I skipped the line. Uh, in the main event, when CM Punk entered, the Chi Town crowd seemed to love him, and Cena was the most hated. Everybody wanted uh, to watch Punk Punky win, and after 33 minutes, Actually, he was, finally scored. What? I would like to correct that. Yes. Because it was longer than 33 minutes. Was it? Yes. Because it was a long Before ass the match. end of yep. the match, uh, I'd posted in the uh, Google Plus mm -hmm. that they had been wrestling for 35 minutes. Mm hmm. And that was not including the ten minute entrances. And all entrances. That stuff. Okay. Okay. So it had to have been at least thirty six, thirty seven minutes for a match, because okay. it ended shortly after that. Okay. Where were we now? It, it, this was speculation of why Punk wanted out of WWE is because Cena would be fired uh, for the second time if he wins the whole thing. Well, he's still here, people, and with Alberto. Uh, trying unsuccessfully to cash in and win the title, Punk was a hometown hero with get this Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana? What in the name of Magnum TA did he attend for? Wait, I remember it was Scotty Goldman. Welcome back, alum loser. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, after the match, Punky went off the ramp and showed his home hometown why he's the greatest and with the cuts. Sword, yeah, sword, 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 hometown, sword, he, hometown. He showed he showed his hometown. Read verbatim. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. You're Chicago is always down. a sports and wrestling city. See There's you no guys later. But he did Air Kelly. He didn't AKA go up Mr. the ramp. Would drive. What? No, he didn't go up down. the ramp. No, no. I, I'm not sure Punk he watched the, the pay-per-view. Punk is the greatest yeah, hero. Sure, I watched the pay-per-view. No, I'm not sure oh, he, he didn't. I'm, saying, yeah. I'm just reading it verbatim. Yeah, I'm not sure he watched the pay-per-view. No, no. So, <laughs> anyways, um, well, we had some comments from our experience. Yeah, you know, we'll bring up some of the comments when we talk about the pay per view here. Pay per view. Pay per view. Pay per view. That's right. So, what do you want to do next, Mr. Mickelson? <laughs> Let's talk about some indie wrestling. You can take a nap. Yay. Okay. Wrestle fan, what's going on out there Hello, in the indies that gentlemen. I and you need to know about? Well, the first thing I want to talk about, it's coming up uh, It's coming up next weekend, but um, I just want to... I'll run down the card now, since I don't know if we have a chance. Uh, Chikara has their big uh, Chikarasaurus Rex King of Sequel shows in uh, Reading, PA, and Philadelphia uh, on the 30th and 31st. Um, it's It was an amazing event that they had last year that featured the stars of Dragon Gate going against the stars of Chikara. Okay. This year they have uh, stars from all across the world. Um, convening in both Reading and Philadelphia to face some of Chikara's best. Um, some of the matches for the first night, um, it'll be um, Mike Quackenbush versus Claudio Castagnoli um, in the 12 Large Summit, as well as another 12 Large Summit match of Jigsaw versus Fire Ant. Um, the smallest member of the Chikara roster, Green Ant, will take on the biggest member, Tursus. Um, it was uh, definitely going to be a mismatch of styles. Um, this is also the, known as the Silent Ninja. Or the Silent Ninja. True, true. Um, 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, the match I'm most interested in: Johnny Saint uh, from uh, Good Old England taking on Johnny Kidd. Um, Johnny Saint, I believe, in the um, he, he's around sixty years old, but he's like one of the um, the uh, pioneers of the British uh, Lancaster style. He's an absolute amazing, definitely for what he can do at his age. Uh, he's returning to Jakara, um, as well as other action. That's for night one in Reading. In night two, we got also a big night of events as uh, the main event in the 12 large summit, Claudio Castagnoli versus Sarah Del Rey, nice. which that's going to be an absolutely insane match. A lot of heat has been building between the two over um, the BDK's involvement in the uh, tournaments, kind of a kind of a splitting of the BDK, Sarah Del Rey wanting to win the uh, the entire tournament while Claudio has plans of his own. Um, Eddie Kingston versus Jigsaw and also Ophidian versus Icarus in those, un- in also, uh, tournament matches. And then, um, a once in a lifetime encounter, Johnny Saint teaming with Lightning Mike Quackenbush to take on Johnny Kidd and classic Colt Cabana in what is sure to be an absolutely amazing matchup. Um, uh, if you want tickets, um, uh, for those events, go to Ch- ChikaraProWrestling.com. That's July 30th and July 31st in, uh, Reading and Philadelphia. Go check them out, ChikaraProWrestling.com. Yeah, say. I'm sorry? Hey, I was going to say ChikaraPro.com. ChikaraPro.com, yes. Yeah. Um, and let's move... Well, that's uh, that's for the main of the news. Let's move on now to the email we got from one Bobby F. J. Town. Which uh, I do have the- video. I will play for you during this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the AON report for this week. Uh, there's a new tag team on the scene in AON this week. C4 and Black Lightning teamed up to form. Wait for it. C4. <laughs> okay. Get it? C- Get it? Because he's C- black? Yeah. C- oh, okay. I, I, I have a feeling we just saw him, too, if, you are, if you're on the video. <laughs> Sherrod Hall and Black Lightning were guests on the AON Rundown this week. Black Lightning said he wants his title back and that Sherrod isn't the true champion. They set a match for War for Territory 4. For the AON TV title. In other news, ISP cut a promo in retaliation for Colin Blair's promo and accepted his challenge for War for Territory 4. ISP also said that Cass Edison wouldn't have any objections to the match because he has no choice. He's still in ISP's custody. Um, upcoming shows is this Saturday, July th- 23rd, Saturday, um, 7 p.m. at the Roaring Spring YMCA. Um, War for Territory 4 is August 20th at the Blair County Convention Center, the first time in Altoona, also taking place at the Manpo Expo for Men. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Expo Man-po. for Men. Someone's showing up. No, I'm good. Um, Col- and then I guess, I believe Sorg's playing a uh, Colin Blair promo. I, I, that, don't, uh, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff going on. I think, there's hold, a lot on. Of- hold on, there's a clip here. I don't know. I, I think that's what's going on here. I just have video. Possibly. I... Anyways, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, that's that's the AON report for uh, this week in uh, the uh, Indie Minute. I don't know if there's much to talk about. There was a uh, IWC show uh, that happened in West Virginia. Okay. Um, I don't think I, I don't believe uh, any of the mayhem attended um, because it was West Virginia. However, I heard um, yeah. it was a great event. <laughs> Um, which included the uh, IWC return of the Necro Butcher, um, aligning himself with uh, Marshall the Bull Gambino, and um, and uh, Justin Idol to take on the Founding Fathers. It was uh, what I was told was a crazy match, and also uh, Shima Zion or Zima Ion, friend of the show, uh, returning to his hometown hometown of West Virginia to uh, take on uh, Rhett Titus, which I was told was also a great match. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is your uh, in the minute for this week in professional wrestling. Thank you. That Thank was you. more like indie five minutes. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> All right, I gotta ask uh, because Chachi did it, did it, did it meet the poop test? Did it meet the poop? Did it meet the poop test? You know the Undertaker entrance poop test? Oh, yeah, it did. It worked. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm so glad I gave Chachi the a lot of time to poop. Hey, you know what? Talk about something I care about, and I won't that's, have to go. Oh, that's so mean, man. That's the most hey, noble thing man. you can do for a person, is give them enough time to take a poops. Which really worries me, since he went out the back door. Oh, <laughs> Get it? 
<laughs> hey, if you want more inappropriate jokes, yeah. let's check out a little clip from Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold. We'll be right back. He looks like he's in the sexy pose. Like exactly. He's for yeah. looks so seductive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hello, yeah. ladies. You can see three fourths of my body. Oh, those are fun. That resulted in the person who lives in that house hopping in her car with a gun and chasing them. Going to no DQ, sorry, we're going to nodq.com unless we get WMS ice cream bars. Hey guys, remember when? Yes. <laughs> and actually, this was because of Raw last night. They were talking about SummerSlam, and they showed uh, Brett the Hitman Hart versus the British Bulldog in the outdoor arena for SummerSlam for the Intercontinental Championship. It's Wembley Stadium. Wembley yes. Stadium in England. In England. And that made me think about our previous discussion of what the Intercontinental Championship used to mean. Mm-hmm. Like, if you go back and watch that match, at the end, they treat that belt like it was the heavyweight championship. Yeah, Follow me? Yeah. I mean, that used to be the belt that everyone fought for. It was like the ultimate step in stone to get to the next level. And, yeah, that's my remember one. Especially at SummerSlam, because SummerSlam was known for having really, really awesome IC title matches. I mean, think about all the, the IC title matches that were huge. Like, even upstairs, we were talking about the Razor Malone, uh, Razor Malone, the Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. And the second one, though, is that SummerSlam. Exactly. So, I mean, all these matches happened not around the Heavyweight Championship, but the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, yeah. You also had Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Triple H, The Rock, um... Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho had a great feud over the IC title. Mm-hmm. And there were lots of really fantastic feuds over it. And now it's just that belt that someone sits on. Yeah, sit, something that someone sits on, and, and so they can say, "Hey, maybe we should give them like a shot at the world title." Or... Not even that anymore. You yeah, know? no. I mean, look at Kofi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does the, he have? Well, it? I, I honestly don't know who has. No, the right now, title Dolph. Now. It, Dolph no, 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 has. right now it's a, no, Dolph has the US title. He has the what? Mm. He has the US title. Oh, okay. Big, See? Big Zeke I, has the IC title. See, I didn't even mm. know who had the... <laughs> I just, just I thought it was Dolph. He came out with the belt yeah, the last IC night. the IC champion yeah. wasn't even on the pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, before before Zeke, it was Wade Barrett, and he never did anything with it, really. Yeah. Hey, Dolph, bad, Dolph eh? had the US title and was involved in the uh, championship tournament last night. Zeke has the Intercontinental title and wasn't seen at the pay-per-view or the uh, championship tournament last night. Mm-hmm. So well, he's shows- on SmackDown. He couldn't have been in championship tournament. He's on SmackDown. Okay, well, he could have been at the pay-per-view. Well, absolutely. <laughs> but, I mean... He probably should have been in the Money in the Bank match. Right. Uh, and, Especially and, if Sinclair was good. being suspended. And yeah. instead, nothing. He he got to sit backstage and hug his title. Dom- there we go. Yes, and and tweet. He gets a tweet. Did he tweet? Yeah, Zeke's uh, Zeke's a big tweeter. Awesome. And but he's I'm- a very religious tweeter too. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, that just goes to show what they think about that belt now. No, yeah, absolutely. They don't. <laughs> Honestly. So. Yeah. Okay. That's the remember one. When was the last time the IC title actually mattered? Like, who was mm. the last champion that had it that really made something of it? Was it Jericho? Probably. In this feud with Ray? Feels like honky-tonk, man. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it meant something before then. It was like uh, uh, Hogan was the last one to have it. I remember when they did it... Uh, I... They brought back the when they first brought back in like 2003 with that big like battle royal and stuff like that, and like it's so, it started well and then it kind of <laughs> just kind of faded into 
What? <laughs> no, I was like, what? I'm, I'm making a point here. No, I wasn't because laughing at you. I think that was the point where it kind of faded into being, oh, it's just another title. I wasn't laughing at you. I wasn't even listening, to be honest. Okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestle buddy. Awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. That's, I'm sorry, audience that's what I was laughing yeah, at. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? All right. Look All at right. <sighs> no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry Wait. about it. We'll Never fix mind. that. We'll fix that. Uh, uh, anyways. Uh so thank yeah. you thank you, Chachi, for your remember when. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. No, so, I, I was watching Raw last night. Mm-hmm. And honestly, are we gonna you wanna start with the pay per view or uh no. Keep, well, let no, me just no, go with your thing. let me go just say let me just say this, and we'll we'll move on. But I was watching Raw last night, and after the pay per view, I turned on Raw. I I was excited for wrestling. Mm-hmm. I I told I told Sorg uh, Sunday night. I stayed up until midnight because I wanted to see if WWE was going to go anywhere with this thing at midnight, like whether make a post on the website or CM Punk tweet or uh, something along those lines. I waited up at, until midnight just in case something happened. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be awake. I wasn't completely disappointed because, as you know, Sam Punk sent a tweet out at midnight asking WWE if they knew where their champion was, and <laughs> it was the title belt in his refrigerator. <laughs> oh, that was the greatest. That was the greatest. Let me see if I can put it up here. But, um, did you, did you guys see the photos of uh, CM Punk, Colt Cabana, and Ace Steel running around Chicago with the title? Yes. That's fucking crazy. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I was excited for wrestling. And honestly, it's the first time in a while that I've been this excited about wrestling. Yeah. And then I turn on Raw. And what do they give me? They give me a subpar tournament. I think it's I think it's too soon to judge. Well, no. Here, this is the reason why I think it's subpar. Okay, some of the matches were really good. Yes, the story in those matches were good. All right, I give them that. My whole thing is, I, I'm under the strong belief that no matter who wins the tournament, Alberto Del Rio is going to cash in his money in the bank. And take the championship anyhow. Yeah. So See, I don't. That, that's I don't what, that's what that's I said the whole going. night. I, I was saying, why the hell is Alberto Del Rio in this tournament if he has the money in the bank contract? So I mean that he technically can't cash in because the champion is gone. Well, no, hmm. Ed, Russell fan. Technically, Edge was Edge won a number one contendership when he was money in the bank. It's true. Yes. Yeah, so it, it, the it, goal, the goal it, it just. It just kind of defeats the purpose, you know. So it, it had and, 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 and okay. we're supposed to believe that Kofi Kingston will beat him on Raw, even though Kofi hasn't like won a match in like six months. It was the way in which he beat him. That's why it was a surprise, and he ran. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyhow, back to what I was saying, and and so my whole my whole thing is I I, I am under the strong belief that no matter who wins this tournament. Alberto Del Rio is going to cash in the money in the bank and take the championship anyhow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why not do something fun like, I don't know, work the R-Truth angle a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Let him win this mat- th- this tournament, have the belt for like five minutes, Alberto <laughs> Del Rio cash in the, the money in the bank, completely destroy him and walk away with the championship. Yeah, well, I agree. Well, no, but they're, they're, at they're the saving same time, our, they're saving our truth for um, John Morrison's return. Yeah, that's but true. I mean, it's so. But I mean, at, the, at the same time, Chachi, that's kind of like the same thing, like what everyone expected after the SmackDown World Title match, because Christian wins the title, but then Randy Orton beats the fucking shit out of him, and everyone said, "Oh, Daniel Bryan's going to cash it in," mm-hmm. and you know. You know, Christian's gonna ha- win the belt back, but he's only gonna win it back for like five seconds. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just, I personally wasn't happy with where they took Raw. I thought it could have been more exciting. Okay. Um, I honestly well, I think- wasn't excited about Raw until the very end. When the well, whole that's what last night's Raw was supposed to accomplish. I agree. So yeah. Supposed to get rid of the Vince McMahon character. Hmm. I, I think I think the the tournament that they're doing 
is going to be a multi-show arc that they haven't revealed the twist yet. Because I, I... There's no doubt in my mind that CM Punk is going to show up before SummerSlam. Okay. Yeah. I, ha- I have absolutely no doubts about that at all. Because yes. I think this rumored main event of Del Rio versus Cena, I don't think that's going to happen anymore because of how hot, how white hot the CM Punk angle is. And, and you know what? That was some of the talk happening in the chat room in the Hangout last night uh, during Raw was, you know, they have this tournament. You know, my big thing is, uh, you know, we have Punk took off with the belt. We have somebody else gets the championship. Punk shows up later down the line saying, oh, who's the champion? You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, nobody beat me. Don't, isn't this, doesn't this matter? Right. And, and you have kind of like a, who's the, who's the true champion kind of thing. Well, going. it's, it's the Razor Ramon Shawn Michaels. I see exactly. Title exactly. That's exactly yes. it. Like this could end in a ladder match with two belts hanging for all. Why not? I also <laughs> wonder. Oh my God. Could you imagine? A ladder match with Punk and Ray at SummerSlam? Oh, that would be that would be amazing. Sign me up for that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sign me that's the true. fuck up for that. Um, Punk and Ray, really? Uh, I think no, yeah. we've been Punk ha- and Ray. Who is playing would, would the best see match? Who has been Ray. unhappy with that? I I've honestly can say that I, I've never seen a match with them that I was disappointed in. No, well, you know what? I was a little bored with them last year when they were having their run on SmackDown. But what they've been doing this, I mean, it was like, okay, okay, they're doing this again. It was like, okay, keep doing this. This is good. You know, so, something's different now, and th- this is a good line of matches. Right. So, I, yeah, I'm just... still of the opinion that Ray should have retired a long time ago. Yeah, maybe. Oh, absolutely. Maybe. He's but, still, I mean... No, he's still doing plenty more than 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 people half his age. So, I mean, you can't really see... Just because he's slowed down doesn't mean he's broken uh, down. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, the other thing is, yeah, Sin yeah, yeah, Cara can, Saint Saint Saint. can do the flashy stuff he used to do, but at least he can communicate and have a great match. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, when he's not on suspension, yes. Um, <laughs> at least Rey Mysterio <laughs> can hit the flashy stuff that he does That's successfully. True. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing I think this is a chance for it. I don't know. Judging by the graphics, maybe they're not doing, it, or maybe this is something they want to leave for a reveal on a different RAW. I think they're going to change up the belt design, maybe. Because they've been, they've so. had it for a few years. Yeah. It's kind of overly blingy, I think. And maybe it's a, it, it's for them to transition to this new era of WWE or whatever, um, you know, with something different. Possibility. Maybe. Possibility. I would love for it's, CM Punk it's to look- show up with a. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was going to say I would love for CM Punk to show up with the Winged Eagle title. That would be amazing. Yes, it would. That would be amazing. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> and like, it, yeah, and like the Winged so, Eagle would be a straight so edge eagle so in the middle. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. What was that, Mike? And then we'll go to wrestle. Uh, and the and the and the eagle in the middle would have like the straight edge um, X's on its talons. <laughs> what was that, wrestle fan? Well, I, I, I was just saying. I mean, the the, the belt has looked so out of place for so long compared to, you know, the other stuff. And I know they want to make the belt like mar. The only reason they had that kind of belt is they want to make it marketable so they could sell replicas on shop. Yeah. yeah. And you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it doesn't matter. It does, the belt's going to be marketable no matter what. A new yeah. belt design is going to be marketable. You're they just want to I have agree. Different, different no, I absolutely agree. But, I mean, that's the, that was yeah, their whole yeah. point of, you know. But it gives oh, them- you know, I think that, you know, oh, everyone will buy, you know, a championship that spins. You know? <laughs> hey, yeah, and that's just another brand that they like can sell if they change it, too. I mean, look at how many times TNA's changed theirs. But it didn't really mean anything. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, sorry, sorry, guys. And, and now the now the, T, the TNA belt can only fit like Mark Henry. <laughs> the remember, remember when they uh, had uh, the ECW belt and they had to make it larger because Mark Henry was such a fat fuck. Oh yeah, <laughs> they had like oh, yeah. belt extenders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. TNA well, is like twice Mark the, Henry TNA, to wear it TNA, his weight. TNA's belt is like twice the size of that. Mm. I yeah, I, I remember when when they had the original ECW belt and Big Show just didn't even bother. To put it on. <laughs> you just like kind of carry around. Oh, Looks like a toy. Big Show never wears a belt. <laughs> no, no. You know what? That's that a that's shirt. a problem for me. Nobody wears the belts around the waist anymore. Except uh, for John Cena when he came out at the pay per view. A lot of IC that's champs. A lot of John IC C- champs. But no one else does it. Well, some people do. I know, but not a good majority of them. That's Dolph true. Ziggler does. Okay, Ziggler. Can no, you there are a lot of guys that do wear the belt. Mm-hmm. But you have to remember a lot of the heel champions we've had in the past. Have worn suits. That's true. That's true. It's very you difficult to wear, wear it over a suit. You don't, it's difficult no. to Didn't do. Jericho wear it under a suit at one point? 
No, eh, no. I don't know. You no. just Jericho put it on the, you put it on the t-shirt and then put the suit jacket over it. No, you don't wear the belt with the suit. The, Why not? Unless you're the million dollar man. The belt looks better over your shoulder if you're wearing a suit. Yeah. I, I gotta disagree with that. Alright. You're Anyways. also sick. Russell Fan, if you're Anyways. gonna disagree, you need to pro- provide photographic evidence. Let's okay. What? Let's try. Okay, the, 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 let's go back to the pay per view. Yes. Uh, how were the Money in the Bank matches? SmackDown was eh. Eh. Yes. Seriously? No, they were fantastic. No, SmackDown they was. Were, they were brutal. SmackDown was, was very meh. well done. Raw was what a Money in the Bank match should be. Insanity. Yes. Insanity. Yes. Uh, there was and, all. But there was a re. I mean, it was the. My thing was like. It was the opener of the show. It had to be a little bit du- duller than what the raw one was going to provide. I I respectfully disagree. I thought they were both uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, oh, you, oh no, matches. no! I think they were great. But I mean, I'm just saying. The, obviously, the raw one had a bit more, um, bit more of the spots. The, I think the only thing, the no, only big I, things I'm from with, like the I'm SmackDown one. one, the only big things from like the SmackDown one was like uh, Justin Gabriel's 450 and. Um, who else? And Daniel, Daniel Bryan winning? What? Daniel Bryan winning. I, I know. Well, I almost know more what? more of a surprising finish than no, Punk leaving with that belt. I want to know, <laughs> Wrestle, Wrestle fan, have, did you drink like three monsters before you came on the show? Because you are just like not stopping at all. No, you were on I, What is I going on with shows. you? I'm very excited about the thing. You're, you're very, you're like Chachi when he stayed up to midnight the other night, I guess. <sighs> um. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, no, it, in my opinion, good, the good. SmackDown was just not what a Money in the Bank match should be. No, the no. the Raw one was. It was kind of rough. Better. It was like really. I mean, like the 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 now former core guys. You know, with the what are we going to do with these two guys that just split up and they're just going to be lost in the shuffle of uh of uh of I, I, Carter Henning I, I Jr. Think, and the I, other guy. Um, I, I think Gabriel has a chance of really yeah, stepping yeah. out of the norm. Slater, That's I don't true. know. I mean, we had Kane, yeah, Slater needs to go away right now. Kane, Sin <laughs> I, I mean, it was it was a weird mix, really. I mean, I, the best I feel mix bad for Kofi. Really? Feel, Kofi is officially Shelton Benjamin now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, I mean, he's no, he's yeah, yeah, right. 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 No, I, I know. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, the the career paths are almost frightening. If you really look at them side to side, <laughs> like Kofi is literally just in there to do innovative spots now. Yeah, like he there's Kofi will not be a champion like in the next three years. I, I and it hates and it pains me to say it because I like Kofi a lot, mm-hmm. but he's just like unless they really turn him up into a violent heel. There's no way he's winning a championship anytime in the next five years. No, you know, no, that would be awesome for Kofi. I would love to see him as like a violent, angry heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, Remember when they were doing the thing where Jamaican. he had like a bit of a, a a violent streak there, where he he took somebody out in the crowd and did a it, and jumped off the rafters on him and everything. Like he he had this crazy crazy uh, stuff going on there. When when he beat the fuck out of Randy Orton's car. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember that. And then it just went nowhere. Like they, they had these parts where like Kofi's like, oh, he's starting to be more vicious on stuff, and and then it goes away. You know, I mean, they I, had him in the opening that uh, that like WWE opening for a while. Yeah, I think they took him out of that too. I mean, yeah, what's going on there? Maybe maybe there's more to that. Oh. So, well, it, it's a well, shame. It's just yeah, Shelton had his one defining moment. Mm-hmm. That was when he beat Triple H. And Kofi has one defining moment. That's when he did the got the huge pop in MSG when he uh, boom dropped Orton through the sound t- sound guy yeah. and and he and he's beaten Orton before during that feud. So it's you yeah. know it was it was just the fact that after that happened, like they kind of had nothing else for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, what else about about the pay per view? You know, it was weird. We had Christian uh, Orton. With that, that that funny little ending that, going on, that was yeah. awesome. That, that was a great ending. That was a good ending. I agree. Yes. Yeah, I, I forgot how much uh, I actually kind of enjoy watching Randy Orton wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, like Randy Orton wrestling Christian. I don't like Randy Orton wrestling in general. Mm-hmm. 
Because, I mean, if you look at it, you knew from the beginning that... Wow. What? What? Sorry, uh, someone in the <laughs> chat room is asking if we really insulted her mother. Okay. But, um, anyhow. Yes, I insulted I your mother. I cut out for a minute. But, um, anyhow. Uh, you, you knew from the beginning that, uh, there was gonna be a twist like that involving the, uh, if, if Orton gets disqualified, uh, Christian wins the belt. And you knew Christian was going to cause that. But you just didn't know what it was going to be. Nor did you know that Orton was going to completely snap and destroy Christian and fail to destroy the Spanish announce table. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like, that who was reinforced awesome. that thing? I don't and, know. And Orton also kind of turned into Luke from the Bushwhackers. A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Spanish announce table said, I will not go quietly no, into the night. No. Yeah, that, was, that was amazing. That I was amazing. Not. The Spanish announce table stood there and said, I will not perish without a no, fight. No, no, exactly, exactly. Um, <laughs> Today is amazing. my Dia de la Independencia. <laughs> I mean, but that was great. Christian won it and looking bad for being the champion. I, I, I think it's good. I think they're going to have some fun with it. And I, yeah. I like that they're giving Christian another shot there. I don't, you know, it's one of those, it's Christian. It's like, you know, you don't, you don't care. You, it doesn't matter that it's these screwy finishes. He's the champ, and that's what matters. And he's going to be right here, right over there. You can see it from my bathroom where he's going to be. I know. Uh, Christian's going to be over here just down the road in, in Pittsburgh. That's that's why so, I knew he was going to be the champion before the pay-per-view. Because he was booked for down the road here? Because I, he was doing appearances. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. That doesn't mean no, anything. It no, it doesn't. I, just, I, I do. Matt Hardy, I think my favorite Matt Hardy part of the did whole a lot thing of was appearance. when uh, Hold on. just hauled off and kicked him in the balls. Yes, yes, yes. I was, I, yeah, in the play on his anger management thing, I, that was good. That was pretty good. <laughs> what does he, wait, well. what does he have? Uh, what, remember when he was feuding with Triple H and he said he had some AD disease? or something? Yeah, he had some fucking disease. I, I really hope they bring that back up. Well, no, because he said he didn't have that and he just made that up. Well, he said that he's obviously feud. not a fucking sane person, okay? Uh. Uh, definitely, definitely. But, um, did anyone else think Daniel Bryan was going to cash in on Christian last night? He should have. You know what? But that, you know, I, I thought about that. It's like, no, because if they do that, then, like, you knew Alberto Del Rio was going to come out. You didn't know what was going to happen. But, um, but it, it, it kind of made sense. And it kind of, kind of, kind of made sense that Daniel Bryan would want to do, like, the honorable thing and challenge him or something like that. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's move to that main event. We had a 30, 35 a minute match between CM Punk and John Cena. At, at the moment I which posted was in tremendous. the, yes, at the moment I posted it in Google Plus, it was at 35 minutes, not counting entrances. And it only went two or three minutes after that. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I mean, they, because we were going, we were going into the main event and we were sitting there in, uh, we're sitting there in the, the Google Plus, and there's an hour and 15 minutes left in this pay-per-view. And Orton and Christian had just ended, they just cleared everything, and the only match left was Cena versus Punk. I'm like, there is no way in hell they're going to go an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they didn't, mm -hmm. because they cut out 10 minutes for the uh, the promo video. And then they cut out another 10 minutes for the entrances. So that got it down to a more reasonable time frame. And it fit in with what we said was going to happen. With uh, Alberto Del Rio trying to cash in the money in the bank. But we didn't know it was going to happen the way it did. Mm. But I mean... The, Dude, the, the look on Punk's face uh, after he kicked Alberto Del yes. Rio in the head. That was perfect. <laughs> it was. It was so good. And it, and it was... They did. They did. They put on a clinic for thirty-five minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it was a flat-out show. And it comes back. And it comes back to like you know, Cena can prove he can put on a match. You know, oh, absolutely. When, when you know, just when you throw it, especially when you throw it at this guy. Um, 
Sorry, distracted. Um, you know, just when we, you know, you're throwing him at a guy that that that's chiding him for not being a good wrestler and say I'm better than you, and he goes out and you can say it's the person he's working with or, or something, but you got to put a little credit on Cena. That was a really good match. Yeah, and you know, you can't go for 35 minutes and have someone carry you. No, no, no. not at all. No. Yeah, I mean, they put on a show for 35 minutes mm-hmm. before they had before they brought out anything else. Yeah. And, I, and it, yeah, it's a whole scene we can't wrestle. So people forget the fact that, uh, what was it? Uh, didn't like John Cena and Shawn Michaels wrestle for like sixty minutes on Raw? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That that crazy people, match. People in seem London. to forget that a, a whole lot. They're like, oh, John Cena only can't, has well, five no. moves. He can't no, wrestle. What? No, wrestle fan. People don't forget that. People just say, oh, Shawn Michaels carried Cena to a one hour match. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, that's it's, what I they say, that. and they're gonna say the same thing about this match. Yeah, and it's not true. Mm-hmm. No, I mean you cannot carry someone for that long. It's just well, not... you can, you can. But CM Punk can. You would have but... you would have to really, you would have to really attempt to do that. It would take to carry someone to a thirty-five minute. Match. It would take a hell of an effort to carry someone through that long. I'm sure. Match. I'm sure Ric Flair did it a few times, but not a lot of people With are Lex Ric Flair. Luger, yeah, so. Lex Luger, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Cern. I mean, it, it didn't. It didn't happen <laughs> Sunday Luke. night. Those yeah, guys yeah, went yeah. out there. Yes. And they put on a clinic for 35 minutes, whatever and it was say, one hell of an entertaining whatever match. Whatever you say about John Cena's wrestling, he's good at telling a story there out there, and that's what he did. And he hit all of his cues, and everything was great. And it did not feel like 35 minutes. No, yeah. not at all. for damn sure. Yeah, no, the only reason I knew what time it was is because I looked down at one point during the match and started doing the math. Yeah. Like, I, I wasn't watching the clock. I was watching the match and happened to glance down. Guys, I, I have a question. I, I'm I'm going to play devil's advocate on this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the match. I did love the match with Cena and Punk. But do you think if, let's say that match wasn't in Chicago, and it was in, like, Charlotte, North Carolina, where same storyline and everything, but the crowd wasn't nearly as rabid? It wouldn't have been as, as good as match. I disagree. Yeah. No, yeah, uh, the, the crowd was the third man out yeah. there. I think. I, think the I, the crowd, I, I will say the crowd. That. The crowd I always. Mm-hmm. The crowd always plays a part in how a match is. Mm-hmm. No, it definitely plays a part. The fact that they were chanting CM Punk during everybody else's Hogan matches. Hogan Rock. Right. You know, it, if the crowd is not in the match, then the match isn't going to be as good as it should, because yeah. you need the crowd to give the wrestlers the motivation they need and to fire them up to do their job because of what, I mean when it, when it yeah. all comes when it all comes down to it if the crowd's not in it they're not going to be in it as much yeah i will i will say that you know you have cena and you have cm punk i think if not put in that atmosphere with punk leaving and it being in his hometown and all this crazy stuff that was behind it, I don't think they would have delivered the same kind of match because they would have had no reason to. Right. Well, see, the thing is about that match, they really, honestly, with with the way that crowd was, they didn't have to try at all. <laughs> they No, they really didn't. No, you're right. There was a huge pop for a hip toss. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I popped for the hip toss. I'm yeah. aware of that. You know why I no, popped no, for we, the hip? No, we popped for the hip toss too. You know but why? I'm just saying, they didn't have to try. You know why I popped for the hip toss? Because when was the last time you saw a hip toss? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love hip tosses. I haven't seen a, hot, a hip toss since a hot <laughs> tag from you, Jachi. Since a hot tag from Violent J. What'd you say? Uh, what was that fan? It says in the oh, chat room. Speak WMS Violent J. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Wrestle sorry, fan sorry. first, and I'll go to you, Mike, and then Will. All I, all I said was I bet you do love hip tosses. I do. I, I, I am a fan of the hip toss. <laughs> Russell fan? Or, I'm sorry, Mad Mike? I was just saying, uh, Riz said in the chat room, WMS 277 pops for the hip toss. I think that's happening. Yes. And actually, it's 279, <laughs> but uh, uh, LB, what are you saying? <laughs> um, fuck was, oh, you see, mentioned Violent J from ICP. Uh, at one point last night, um, 
uh, <laughs> me and the guys at Buffalo Wild, Wild Wings were convinced that uh, the two guys in hatchet shirts and makeup were that it was just ICP. You know, I was I was inside. almost convinced too. They're, they're not from too far from Detroit. I would not be surprised for something like that. I yeah, we yeah. felt we can yeah. we uh, contemplated that as well. I mean, we're talking about two guys that were friends with like uh, Sabu and and Rob Van Dam for real. Right, you know? they're, they're I mean, friends they, with they, the people they that could, know. They, they could also be there. Well, uh, Cole Cabana I know is doing the gathering. Right. Uh, so I'm wondering if they're well, kind of Cole in that Cabana circle. had the ICP on his podcast. That's right. That's right. He's got mad respect for them because they're they're real good businessmen, which is which is true, you know. But um, so, but yeah, uh, you're right, Mike. Uh, they didn't have to work mm -hmm. as hard as they worked, mm -hmm. but they did. Oh yeah. Oh, it was a tremendous match, and that's I mean, why those guys are on top. What's CM that? Punk reversing the STF. Into the Anaconda oh place. Oh my yes. god! Might have been I my favorite so spot from that, that match. Oh uh, yes. There were ten. The, oh. the thing was, there were ten million times in that match where I said, "Oh god, Cena's got him," because you know it's a classic. You know, Cena's gonna rebound, and he did the whole. Uh, he grabs the rope, and he's gonna pull him to the center again. And I'm like, "Okay, now it's over." Mm -hmm. And then Punk reverses it into the GTS, and I literally flipped shit when I saw that. It, it was intense. <laughs> it, you know, it's something to lend to the intense. We were doing something different. We're like I say we're we're been playing with Google Plus lately. We have on the Wrestling Mayhem Show account. Uh, we started a thread for the pay per view, you know, yeah. especially the end part. And I and I and I plus one uh, some of the some of the comments. Chachi here said uh, there are couples there tonight that will break up over this match. It, Kids and women love Cena, men love CM Punk. It, for but instance. it was because <laughs> all right at the beginning of the match, it was all CM Punk. Uh huh. But as the match went on, yeah, it did the went split chant. Yeah, and at that point, the women and children were there. Man. Exactly, they were you there. Gotta give credit to them. And all I kept gotta give picturing, credit to them. and all I kept picturing, was a guy and a girl sitting in the crowd, chanting back and forth, and the the woman getting irrationally upset, as they do <laughs> about her boyfriend cheering for CM Punk, and and, and, and then punching her in the face or something, and it's like <laughs> something just gets pushed too far. Bitch, you CM Punk. Like at the end of the match when CM Punk wins, like the guy getting it all in her face and be like, "Yeah, what I told you." And she's like, oh, yeah, we're done. Like, I told like, you, get done. in the kitchen. Yes. And, and like, it, it goes. Get in the kitchen. Get me my title belt. Like, <laughs> I, it's I just, in the fridge. I just pictured it. I pictured something like that going irrationally too far on both sides and them just breaking up over Women it. Women were beat over that much. Uh, Mike, it <laughs> looks like there's a, uh, there's a correction. Anaconda Vice, not GTS, uh, from uh, what you Anaconda mentioned before. Vice, yeah, just, a, mm. just, just a line I that I said up. Anaconda Vice. I know you did. You know Maybe. what? While we're um, yes. on the subject of crowd reaction, mm -hmm. I, I have a I have a request for the 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 wrestling fans that go and see shows that like we did at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I know that you know going to a live wrestling show is awesome, and you and your friends get chants started and stuff like that. But if you're like in a restaurant and you like try to start a chant and it fails, give it up. <laughs> you're gonna cheat. You're gonna do it three times, um, complete with clapping, and no one's gonna do it. And then you're just gonna get on people's nerves. That's funny. Some people don't, don't understand. fucking do it unless you're at a sh at a show. Yeah, some people don't that, don't get that. I mean, you know, to yeah. a point, you can. Uh, you know, yeah. the crowds kind no, of. No, you can't. If the whole yeah, bar is getting into it, go for it. You know, but there's one table of three guys started tried to start all these stupid ass chants and they never caught on and ev after by the end of the night people were just kind of like just don't look at those guys don't make eye contact yeah, well, yeah, but them. no because i mean everything. how many places have you been where there's a here we go Steelers chant you know especially in a bar or something you know okay. I, I don't but think there's much that's difference that's true that, but if you, know? you try no. to do a here we go Steelers chant nobody does it with you fucking give it up exactly. that's true I had the, the same issue happened to me at a at that SmackDown event I went to. There was a kid right behind me chanting for Randy Orton throughout like his entire fucking match. Well, if it's a little kid. He doesn't really know. Come and on, I he's that, trying. He sees everybody and, chanting. Yeah, it's, it's a little kid and he doesn't know, but it's still annoying. Okay, 
Kids can get annoying. <laughs> no, there, um, was a kid, there was a kid that was a kid. fan, that's why you throw up the fan. fortune symbol let's... in their face and say Hardy won. <laughs> that's, you know, just, let's not just, get so just, much like... into that. Uh, the wrestle fan, let's, get, let's, let's get on the important thing. Let's go back to the Google Plus. We have, of course, AJ said match of the year. Fuck everything else. Right. Wrestle fan uh, in the heat of the moment uh, yelled, I'm about to piss my fucking pants. Um, <laughs> let's see what else I we was, got here. He was. was. It was, was that type of match. match. Oh, wait, there was, there was actually a sequence here. It's, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm about to piss Chachi's you. pants. I'm about to piss on the floor. Sans pants. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't AJ, think I want to join you guys. And AJ Google. said, <laughs> AJ said he was about to piss on everything. Yes. Yes. Uh, There's a lot of talk oh, about piss. Yes, he did. Trust that, me. He did. But you know. I, I mean, it was that match. Yeah. It was. At, he's not far off when he says match of the year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, there's still, you know, five months to go in this year, so something could come up hmm. but chances are match that's the, the match of the else. year yeah what fuck, else is there it wasn't tri- everything it else. wasn't triple h taker i'm sorry nope in, in comparison let's let's be honest yeah. hey, we actually let's... we talked about that uh at the table and mm-hmm. uh i think the conclusion we came to it was it was better than triple h taker two i'm sorry not triple h it was better than sean taker two but not sean taker one okay okay that's fair that's fair okay yeah. i'll agree with that Okay. Uh, well, on that note, let's uh, like you know, let's get back. Speaking of Google Plus, let's get back to our other experiment, guys. Make sure everybody put your pants on on the in the uh, in the Google Hangout. Why? It's all we're gonna bring it back. What's that? It's all chest up. It's all what? All chest up. All chest up. Yeah, you can't see. Why? I mean, you know, you can't see if they're wearing pants or not. Uh, Riz is joining. Riz, put your damn pants back on. I told you about that. Hot Wheels and Bobby FJ Town. We've been talking about things for a while here. Uh, What do you What do you guys think of the pay per view or anything else uh, you guys want to bring out? One at a time. Uh, I like to start. Uh, Go go ahead, Riz. I start. Riz has the has the floor. Okay. Um. Riz is being racist. First off, not letting the black guy start. Oh, uh, what? What? That's racist to let uh, him. <laughs> <laughs> it's racist to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's racist to say anything. <laughs> You're all racist. Uh, first, I, there's a difference between what uh, Russell Fan was talking about and what we we witnessed at Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. If you chant at the event, yeah. That's perfectly fine. Even if they you, might hear you. Even if you're mm-hmm. failed. And if but but if you're at the at Buffalo Wild Wings in Greensburg and it's in <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> Illinois. Yeah, they're not You are not you. going to hear this, you. This is kinda like this is kinda like uh when when you're at a movie and people applaud. Like I that that throws me a little bit. Yeah, you know? I, I, I fucking mean, hate that. That's a little bit weird. Oh no. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. There's a caveat for that. Okay. If, if it's a mid, if it's a midnight show, yeah. If it's, if it's like show, Rocky allow. Horror Picture Show, I mean, and and you know, well, you're no, I'm saying like a midnight it. premiere. Okay. Cause, okay. Because I fucking clapped when Miss Weasley said, "Not my daughter, you bitch." I think I had it. Well, that's just because well, that line was awesome. Okay. And that's, that's why true. you right. clap. No, I think during I, the during I think, the show. Go ahead. Go like, ahead. During the show, like we clapped. We did a standing ovation for the for matches. Yeah. But we didn't chant. We didn't <laughs> like <laughs> get yeah, people ride up the, is one you know, thing, but get up or something again, like that. Then again in that guy's defense he did have mutton chops. <laughs> yeah, the mutton, oh, mutton chops did, <laughs> That's awesome. did settle that. Mutton chops aren't a defense for anything. Listen, yeah. there's a difference between cheering for a movie mm-hmm. on a screen. No offense, Mike. I know hey, what you're hey, I know yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah. And cheering for a sporting event in a bar full of people. Because while it may be sports entertainment, it's still a sporting event. Yes, yes. It's the illusion, and the whole point is that we take ourselves out of it. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. But, I mean, it, it's it's a, a physical competition. You cheer for the winners. It's a performance. Yes. It's... You, you cheer for the winners. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. So, I mean, that makes sense. But the chanting, no, the chanting is. Oh yeah, no, under- cheering is fine. Chanting, yeah, chanting when you're is not live. Is retarded. Yeah, chanting is. They were chanting for ice cream. Yeah, we want ice cream. <laughs> oh, okay. that, they <laughs> may well, have just had a bad to. server. Don't you start chanting when you hear the music from the ice cream man? By the way, I've not heard the music from the ice cream man. I know you tracks. I, I need to hear that. Uh, uh, so. Our uh, ice cream man doesn't have music. Oh yeah, he wants he wants a beat. Just no, no, it's a school bell. He knows what happens in your neighborhood. No, it's just a school bell. 
in his neighborhood, it's Sweet Tooth from uh, <laughs> Twisted Metal. <laughs> no, no, it, 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 it's, it's a beat up. It's a beat up truck on the outside. <laughs> Will you shut up and let me finish? Does it blow? No. Fitty fit? no. But no, it does not. But it's a school bell. It just rings. Mm. But you go up, and this guy has a soft serve ice cream machine in it, mm-hmm. and he makes the best milkshakes. <laughs> so, I does mean, his milkshake bring all the boys to the yeah, yard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's his name, police. Yes, <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kids, no, kids and adults alike run out and <laughs> run out for the, uh, the ice cream. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Bobby, Bobby, you got anything you want to bring up here? Wow. Um, Fuck it was guys. a great pay-per-view. Um, there were ladies at the end of the pay-per-view that asked what we were doing when we were filming our uh, video. I and we said, very true. we said, we're nerds and we're part of a wrestling show and... Uh, and they're like, oh, cool. We're like, hey, come watch yeah, us. Well, we might have yeah. insulted they one said, of them. Oh, wait, was that what happened? Right oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Right? Is that what <laughs> just happened in the chat room? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I got either. all defensive. Um, Anyways. But... Oh, and I was and, photobombed, and we did, we did, too. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, we, we were photobombed with the waitress. <laughs> yeah. We did film a video, but um, I apparently don't have the cable necessary to get it off my camera. Oh, so. no. oh my dad, film that video! I would have played it. I know, and it's, it's a Sony, so I can't just pull out the memory stick and fucking read it. <laughs> pull out stick your it. stick. Fail. Fail. Yeah, it won't work. It's a lunchbox gone wild. <laughs> wow. That's already happened. That uh, really happened. I was going to say, isn't that lunchbox just like on a Thursday? Yes. <laughs> or even a Tuesday. A lunchbox <laughs> on a Wednesday. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Wheels, you got anything? Nope. He's got nothing. Moving on. Mm-hmm. Shut up, Chachi. No, I will wow, come over dude, there guys. and I will walk guys. up and kick your butt. <laughs> 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 for those that he, he's in a wheelchair, you know, for those that aren't on the joke, there might be new. He's in a wheelchair. You know what? No, no <laughs> offense, but if understand. you if you stand up and try to whoop my ass, I'm just gonna let you. <laughs> okay, fair yeah. enough. You just win at that point. Yeah, you, you just you just win in yeah, general yeah, at life. You win, you win at life, and I'm just gonna give you whatever you want. <laughs> no <motion and> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, about the pay per view, I just I enjoyed the Cena Punk match, and it's weird for me to say something like that about Cena's match. <laughs> oh, true. stop being a fucking hater on Cena! I hate Cena. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I will push you into a freeway. <laughs> I will walk up to the Bronx and whoop your ass. You will your no, you won't, because I, I will slash your tires. <laughs> I just thought of one more thing. Oh yeah, what do you got, Bobby? Uh, during the SmackDown, we, going back to the SmackDown Money in the Bank match. Oh no, we're past that. Got to move on. No, no, no. The best part of that match, I like to call the catnip in the case, was when everybody was on top of the ladders and they were all just pawing at it like it was oh, yeah. catnip in it. That, that was that was pretty good segment. The, the best that moment of the awesome. Raw, of the Raw Money in the Bank, <laughs> was when Del Rio ripped off Rey Mysterio's mask on top of the ladder. <laughs> And oh, everything awesome. just yeah. falls down. Yeah, as AJ said, Ray, as Ray AJ fucked said, up the finish by that. As AJ said no. last night, Rey Mysterio's mask held everything together, and then <laughs> yes. when he ripped yeah. it off, it just like fell just, apart. It wasn't in slow motion, no less. <laughs> I would just like to point out that it wasn't Ray's fault that that finish screwed up. <laughs> oh no, it, it, it was physical. <laughs> Del Rio <laughs> didn't push the ladder hard enough. Yeah, <laughs> like he thought he had pushed it hard enough, and then slowly it just starts coming <laughs> back. <laughs> like, no, I, I think Ray was just supposed to land on top of the ladder. And just be there holding his face when Del Rio grabbed the briefcase. But, <laughs> yeah, but because was... Ray jumped off with such force, yeah, the, ladder... the ladder tilted <laughs> it and just came, came back. back. I mean, think about the, the, the concept of this match. You're on a ladder and on a moving surface on the mat. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean... Ten, 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 another another good thing about the SmackDown right. Money in the Bank match. Yeah. No Sin Cara lighting. 
Thank God. They Thank couldn't know. That was because he was Someone... wearing the white gear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone would have died if they did that in the blue yeah, yes. in the blue lighting. Someone yes. would have died. Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> can, can also, how awesome is the Miz? The only time Sin Cara's, Sin Cara's point made sense was when he pointed up at the briefcase. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, 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 Riz, you mentioned the Miz. Yeah, you know, the Miz can't. Well, well looked like well, they, they even said it looked like his leg was dislocated or whatever. But he made the Kurt Angle type c- comeback. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I almost wish he would have won with that. That would have been tremendous. I but, think he's gonna win next week. That could be. I hope so. But I mean, he I did think, a hell of a job Kofi last tried. night on Raw. Yeah. So, and what's that, LB? I think Kofi. Uh, at one point, I think he like swung his legs up and drop kicked somebody off, and I think he was trying to do a planking thing, uh, but he didn't quite pull it off. That would have been great, though. Oh, it's tremendous. tremendous! Also, going back to the Miz, I take Money a one-legged the Miz. Shot him with the crank. I take a one-legged. I take a one-legged Miz over Yellow Teeth Snitsky any day. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. You brought up Snitsky. Wow! Oh. Anyways, it's not my fault. <laughs> is there anything? Apparently, it wasn't. Is there never anything is. else in wrestling? <laughs> it never is. Is there anything? Does anybody want to comment on Sting being a new world champion? No, no, no. no. Uh, hey, TNA, TNA. Maybe, TNA. maybe they got. I know you chops. made about TNA. Uh, th- this is Mad Mike speaking. I know you made about fifty, sixty bucks on Destination X. Um, <laughs> I I advise you to take that money. You spend it on the replay of Money in the Bank because <laughs> I I don't I don't buy pay per views anymore on DVD. When this one comes out on DVD, I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. buying. Yeah, yeah That's how it's on demand. Right. The same thing. You're yes. right. Hey, You're uh, right. TNA. I would like to add to uh, Mike's open letter to TNA. So, um, yeah, you want to switch the camera three? Yes. Right. <laughs> so, uh. TNA. Uh, this is this is Mike's friend Chachi from the Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. Um, number one, fuck you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you hard. <laughs> All right, fuck you. Fuck you. All right, number two. <laughs> All right. Uh, I love this new camera. <laughs> Mike, Mike is right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, grab grab yourself a composition notebook. <laughs> composition? <laughs> yes. Is that going to be college lettered or I want it college ruled. Yes. Okay, college ruled. Yes. Okay. Yeah, grab composition. yourself grab yourself a college ruled uh composition notebook. Okay. Um a 12 pack of number 2 pencils okay. and a pencil sharpener. Is this is this the time of uh their life for for experimentation? No, this is the time of their life where they're gonna sit down, watch what WWE did, take notes, and fucking do it. <laughs> you, know, you know who could pull off this angle? Stop giving me crap. <laughs> you know who could pull off this angle in TNA? Who's that? Sting. Samoa Joe. Okay. God, Samoa dang. Joe. Okay. Pat you, you mean the whole CM Devolution. Punk angle? Yes. Oh yeah, with it, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. fucked him in the ass for too long. Absolutely. So I mean, what? What, what the hell? Yeah. Are you Someone oh. kidnapped them, and no one they cared. They took in a. Hey, AON is the only one that kidnaps. They took in a, you know, re- a hot, you know, branding rod and shoved it up his Samoan ass. For okay, so three years. Now. So wait, 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 you're ang- you're too angry to talk to. Come on. So uh, let me go <laughs> fan smash. <laughs> let me let me recap. Uh, TNA, here's the things you need to do. Um, number one, buy Money in the Bank and watch it. Um, number two, fuck you. <laughs> and number three, take notes on Money in the Bank on how to improve your shitty ass product. I swear you just did like a chachi oh, says about number, number three, four, the thing you should also do, profit. TNA, sign Shima Zion. <laughs> uh, no, because I don't want Shima to go on food stamps. Right. Um, yeah. Or corn dogs. You know, let me give you let me give you some million dollar advice, TNA. Um, this is free of charge. Uh, you can consider it a gift from Chachi to you, uh, gift wrapped and packaged, all nice and neat for you. Fire Sting. Yes. Kurt Angle. Yes. Hogan. No. Yes. Scott no. Steiner. Kurt Angle. No. You, Chachi. You can, Chachi. You can keep Angle. Yeah. Fire Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. No, 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 no you can't Angle's fire Kurt Angle. Sting is at the end of his rope. He has nothing else to do. 
Yeah, he's using the Batman years ago. Because there's nothing else for him to do. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. You can't fire Kurt Angle, though. Why not? Can't. He is kind of the best. Kurt Angle, no, Kurt Angle is the list. No, they need. Kurt Angle's a dick. Yes, Kurt Angle is fucking on pills half the time. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a, another choice here. Instead of Kurt Angle, how about Jeff Jarrett? Okay. Yes. Get rid of Jeff Jarrett. Fire both of them. Yes. Get rid of them both. Stop putting your money in these old time people and push the X division. You know okay, what you sorry. had going for you in the beginning? The X Division. And then you hired all these old-time wrestlers that no are one... past their prime. Listen, no one gave a fuck about Ken Shamrock as your world champion. No one cared that Ron Killings was your world champion. I care. Who else? No and, one, and that's uh, the truth. Yes, no one cared about that's the truth. Christian truth. being world champion. Was half of your tag champions at one point, okay? They cared about the fucking X Division. <sighs> Everyone knows that. Bottom fucking line, you know. Right. All right. I don't guys. think they need to fire Kurt Angle to put a focus on the X Division. So well, yes. No, no, they don't. Because the thing, the thing about the X Division is, to a degree, Eric Bischoff is kind of right about the X Division. Okay. No, because the X Division guys, as great as their matches are, eighty-five percent of them have no personality whatsoever. Managers. Yeah. Okay. Bring back managers. Man- managers and give them time on TV to develop a personality. Mm-hmm. They're not just hey guys, randomly remember get Scott the Moore? Ah, uh, Scott the Moore. Yes. Scott yeah, I never thought I'd long for the days of Scott the Moore. Oh, yeah. uh, Scott the Moore. So, yes. Um, TNA, those are the things that you should do. Sincerely yours, The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh, oh, sorry. P.S. I mean, if you really cared about the X Division, keep it in TNA. Don't have Jeff Jarrett make another company called All Wheel Wrestling and bring, have a six-sided ring out of the it's same studio. Oh, yeah. um, that's not that. theirs. Has there been more on that? That's that not is theirs. Jeff Jarrett's. I thought it was a spinoff. No, because it's the commentary. Well, it's everything TNA. The commentary team is Jeremy Borash and Don West. Okay. <laughs> it, it, so it's... <laughs> It's got a lot oh. of backing from TNA. Let's just say that. Okay. They should bring Mark Madden back. And, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's basically all the guys that the X, that they fired from the X Division, like Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt, and um, who else? Uh, I know there's William? more people there, but PSS. Oh man, I remember Petey Williams. Petey and thought. something or another. Chachi, let him finish. <laughs> Pete, yeah. Maple Leaf Muscle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really they said, became Scott Steiner's well, lackey. Pete Williams is awesome. He has a great person, er, but he doesn't have any personality. Let's put him in the ring with fucking Scott Steiner and see how that Poor goes. Poor Chachi. <laughs> Everybody, Let's give him Scott Let Steiner's Chachi talk. personality. P.S.S. Stop S. stepping over him. Oh, come on. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was being, I was being calm. I was being calm. And every time I opened my mouth, someone else would start fucking talking. <laughs> you open a bad can of pro wrestling worms. Shut you your asshole. All right, all right. I want to turn everybody else down. P.S.S. Fuck you. Whenever you're ready. The end. All right, we're Don't done. Was it? Whatever. Fuck you. Gotcha. Sometimes you just gotta go. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, guys, let's wrap this up. We gotta get out of here. Somebody's talking. Is, are we at a terminal? What the? <laughs> the hell's that noise? Platform uh, nine and three quarters. I think I'm late nine for my train. Yes. Now leaving a Port Authority <laughs> offers on a re- uh, operates on a ready fare system. Passengers getting off at low level stops, be sure to board the first train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please keep your arms and, and feet in the cart at all times. What, what kind of trains are you riding? <laughs> Roller coaster. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. All right, let's go around it. And uh, uh, Chachi, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, that I'm excited by Vince being unfit for We didn't duty. even talk about that, did I know. we? Much? No, we didn't. <laughs> I think we we'll didn't touch that. on it. Yeah. But I, I am excited about Vince being unfit for duty. Yeah, that's interesting. What are they going to do with it? How are they going to replace him? 
Is he officially written off? Is this accompanies a lot of changes in the creative? I I just uh, think he's done. Deal. So I, I, it might be. I love it that after time. like fifteen years of Vince like being on TV and stuff like that, they've said, "Okay, now you've lost control." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, now well, you're no, no, no. This irrational. is the first time this has happened. <laughs> the difference is. He didn't have to answer when he was doing crazy events. He didn't have to answer for to a board of directors because they weren't a public. Um, yes, company. he did. Yeah, he yes, did. He, all right, you know what? Quick, remember when? You remember when <laughs> Vince McMahon <laughs> lost the company to Stone Cold Steve Austin? Do you remember when oh. Vince McMahon had to share the company with Ric Flair? Wait a minute! Remember? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, no, 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 no. Now that wasn't a board of directors public company well, thing. Bullshit! Now, it wasn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rick Flair, it was not. Ric Flair bought Linda McMahon. Linda McMahon and Stephanie McMahon sold. Consulted with the board of directors and sold their shot, their stocks of WWE to Stone Cold Steve Austin. So Stone Cold had dual ownership with Vince and Shane McMahon. Okay. They had okay. segments where there were meetings with the board of directors. <laughs> and the board of directors met with Ric Flair because Ric Flair was feuding with The Undertaker, and the board of directors deemed that Ric Flair was not competent to be part owner <laughs> of the... Okay. All right, he wins. Listen, he wins. Vince McMahon fought God. I, I, Don't I'm... fuck with the <laughs> WWE historian, bitch. I'm not arguing with Mad Mike over this. <laughs> no, because like, I was I, arguing You will not win. No, I, nope. I didn't want to argue. <laughs> I'm he just will saying, yell louder than you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying that... I like what they did. Okay. Because okay. I honestly believe that this was Vince's way of saying I'm done. Okay. I think that's good. The limo explosion wasn't? What's that? Well, no. if, you, if you kind of even, if you look at Vince a little bit, he didn't even look kind of healthy this time. He has Oh, God, bad. he looks bad. He looks like he's been Yeah, wrong. he looks really bad. He doesn't know well, how to working. First they tried to take him out via uh, blowing him up in a limo. Then they tried to put him in a coma. Out. And well, now I love you, Pop. Limo, finally, take him out. <laughs> the limo <laughs> thing only stopped because of yeah, the um, Canadian yeah. wrestler act. Yeah, yes. that's right. that, that yeah. one guy who yeah. did that yeah. thing. He, too, he to who that, must not be other, named. The other people. <laughs> All right. Voldemort never wrestled, Chachi. Let's Voldemort try to go around. DJ Lunchbox. Hi. Although Tom Tom oh. Riddle was a jobber in the seventies. Uh, yeah, Tom <laughs> Tom Lunchbox. Hi. <laughs> Tom Brady. What did you learn from wrestling this week? First off, my name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> On a stick? I thought it was On Florian. A stick. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, it was Florian Manzarek. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. All right, now, I learned, I learned a couple of things. Uh, number one. Um, hey, where's my handy cam at? Vince, uh, not Vince, Triple H has uh, beaten the greats. He's been in the ring, and he's beaten many, many people, and now, finally, after all this time, without lifting a finger, he's beaten Vince McMahon. <laughs> um, he's beaten his daughter many times. Aww. <laughs> aww. <laughs> aww. Don't That's fucking sorry. aww. We made Donkey that joke arms. on the show all the time. Bag of oranges. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, remember when we made the joke about the bags of oranges? <laughs> When we uh, talked about how Stephanie McMahon births her baby uh, when Triple H slams a sledgehammer up her batch. <laughs> Dude, I think that was before you. That was before WrestleFan. That was that was BW. Uh, wow. That was before WrestleFan was born. We're gonna all stretch out in the lines and like everybody and everybody who goes sees Triple H randomly be like, "So I heard you beat your wife." That was great. Oh, man. That was a thing on this show. I don't want to hear any fucking awes. Use the phone, and Luke. It doesn't leave bruises. <laughs> this is this is how Russell Dan got his education by listening to the entirety of this show for two hundred. God, episodes. you must never go to McDonald's ever. No, because <laughs> <laughs> they serve Rolo shakes for old people. I, LB, wait, wait, hold on. LB, were you done with your thing? I don't know. I said I said fuck the other thing that I learned because that what just happened was more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? All right, I learned two things. I learned um, one. I have a new favorite Twitter account. Okay. That the Twitter account is at Dumb Kelly Kelly. 
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, let me let me just read um one of these dumb Kelly Kelly quotes. Uh, <laughs> how? <laughs> okay. Anyway, almost time for Raw. Gotta go find Johnny A so he can take those pre-match photos. Weird how those pics are never used on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that her profile pic is the one with uh, playing cards on her nipples. Yes. And uh, the, the other thing I learned was that CM Punk loves his mommy. And the only reason I know this was because after a suicide dive onto Cena, he reached up and high-fived his mom without even getting up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Okay, Russell fan, what'd you learn from stuff this week? Stuff this week. Uh, what'd you learn I learned, from your time I'm, zone this week? Well, everyone, I, I, I hate TNA marks, but the biggest thing I hate about TNA marks is the ones that go off and say that Mr. Anderson is a better version of The Miz. Um, whoa. Last time I... Ch- uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Really? Whoa. Yeah. yeah, no, no, really? no. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. No, last time I checked, um, Mr. in the last month, Mr. Anderson has lost to a relative rookie in Gunner. He's lost to a comedy character playing the Great Muda. And he's mm-hmm. lost to a 50-year-old man. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, yeah. It's Alex and, Riley. and he cannot pull off a camouflage suit. Mr. Anderson needs to come home. He needs Mr. to go away. He needs to go away. He needs to stop trying to pretend to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. He needs to go back to being Mr. Kennedy. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Kennedy. Kennedy. That's why. That's what I meant by he needs to come home. Exactly. No, no there, there's no room for him back here now. Yeah, there's no that's room true. for him back in WWE. I say back here. Anyway, that's not true. I think there's plenty of room for him on SmackDown. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, now the hangout. This is tricky since you're all on one monitor. You have to collectively come up with one thing that we you have learned as a hangout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hot Wheels, what'd you learn? I have learned that CM Punk, just like The Miz, is awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bobby, what'd you learn? That was a really shitty lesson. That was, uh, okay. Uh, Shut Bobby. up. Bobby, Bobby. I have, I have learned that the Ray, that Rey Mysterio's mask is the glue that holds the WWE together. <laughs> and also that mutton chops can't start chants. Nope. Riz. Uh, I learned that WWE actually follows Wrestling Mayhem Show. Because we've been telling them for, what, a month now to take chances? Yeah. And look what happened. It's pretty good chance. They yeah. took chances. Bravo. There you go, LB. WWE needs to make Bravitas. little kids cry. Sorgatron, what did you uh, learn from wrestling? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it was kind of touched on, but yeah, again, I'm amazed after all these years, Triple H trying to take over the company. Yeah, <laughs> and now here we are. Here we are. It's 2000 all over again. It's a switcheroo. It's a switcheroo. The last ten does years anyone, were a swerve. Does anyone think Triple H is gonna rehire CM Punk? I think like yes. that'll come. Away. Yeah, you, what somebody somebody said in the hangout, like when he came out, I was like, he's the mystery GM. It's like, hmm. That's what I yeah, said. Yeah. That'd be fun. And yeah. that's a good question. Yeah, it could they, be they interesting. This whole mystery GM thing end because, honestly, it is getting old. Over a year. It has to. Well, and they, haven't, they haven't had it for the past couple of weeks. It has to soon. That is true. Anyway. Now, here's the thing. Hmm. When they do, remember when they started, it was that they, he, was, he or she was protecting themselves from whatever it was. Hmm. Will they still carry that? You know that angle that they were protecting themselves from what's what the wrestlers are going to do. Yeah, yeah, that, that's well, true. You know would it be who, funny? You know who the would mystery be GM would be if, if it is anyone. <laughs> I don't. I don't think the mystery GM is going to be anyone. I think it's just going to be not revealed. It but just, it could totally be Mick Foley. We're just going to forget about it. Yeah, it could be something like the Nexus really angle. Back. Yeah, like the Nexus angle. No, that could be or interesting. Core, where they, they they bring the back core. like. If they bring back, like, a a Foley or not Stone Cold, because... It's one of the Bushwhackers. (laughs) (laughs) It's the dead one. more sense. All right, guys, Uh, on that uh, note, we got to get out of here. uh, Thank you guys for joining us in the Hangout. This is kind of cool to just kind of go free for all for the last few minutes here, or I'm sure it was a half an hour, actually. Who went around the horn? Free ball? Who went around the horn? 
What? I didn't. I'll bring the I thunder. Always... You bring the lightning. <laughs> oh my god! I getting to meet them. Uh, Russell fan, Mad Mike, DJ LB, and Chachi. He evaporated. And hey guys, check us out wrestlingmayhemshow.com at Mayhem Show. Uh, we record here at live.sorgatronmedia.com every Tuesday at uh, eight or eight thirty Eastern, roundabouts. You're gonna take some tech shows on before us uh, called the Awesome Cast or some such thing like that. Um, thanks to Riz for uh, coming up with the name for tonight, Pop for the Hip Toss, and uh, and and hey, check us out. Uh, uh, drop us any line, anything you agreed with, disagreed with, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com or 412-206-WMS0-9670. Hey, guys, for everybody, all the craziness in the chat, all the craziness here on the TV sets, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Wrestling Mayhem, out! I love you, Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time,